Hey everybody, welcome back. Um, I don't know if you missed it or not. Um, I think it was Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. I made homemade eggnog with my quail eggs and it did not make it to work. So it was really good. I only have about, well, two cups, a pint left. So I thought I'd make to snack on tonight a little dip that you can make for Christmas. You throw it together really easily. It's just basically eggnog, whipped cream, uh, some cream philadelphia cream cheese you can use regular if you want i prefer philadelphia i just find it's a lot creamier and has a better flavor until i get my goats and we start making our own i'll be making my own goat cheese so we're just going to put one package and it's at room temperature as you can see it's nice and soft and we're going to use that and the um pudding mix that together So we're going to mix the pudding in with the cream cheese. And it's just a regular instant pudding. Uh, what size is this? 3.4 ounce. And to this, we're going to add our eggnog. Going to put one cup of eggnog. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. That's going to be my cup for later on. And right now we're just going to whip this together. And I'm just going to use the whisk attachment on here. It should bring it together okay. Sorry about the noise. Okay, that is all mixed. Do do do. Stay. Now I am going to put about half a teaspoon of cinnamon. You could use nutmeg, cinnamon. If you want a little bit spicy, you could put some ginger in there. But I'm going to put some cinnamon in here. About a teaspoon. And even though I'm using the vanilla pudding, and I think that was French vanilla, um, I'm still going to put probably just a dot of my vanilla paste. If you're using your liquid vanilla, maybe half a teaspoon. And then lastly, we're going to put in a tub of whipped cream. Okay, before everybody freaks out out there. This is not Cool Whip. I use Cool Whip. I like Cool Whip. This was on sale, so I got it. It's called True Whip, and it's got non-GMO, no hydrogenated oils, no blah, 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 all that stuff. For all of you guys that freak out on my fluffs, dish, uh, desserts, and mom's fluff, because we use Cool Whip, we've been using them for years. It's just, we like them, and we don't have a problem with it. So if you don't want to use it, you can use homemade whipped cream. I don't have the space right here to bring in my mixer and make my homemade whipped cream. A big old stand mixer. I could do with this, but I just chose to get this. It was easier. So you can use homemade whipped cream. You can use Cool Whip. You can use this, whatever you like. So this is thawed out. Can't don't do it when it's frozen. Leave it out in the refrigerator overnight or for a day. But yeah, I got so many people tell me how gross I was and how bad I was for using Cool Whip. Well using it for years my grandma used it for years my great grandma used it and we like it so let me put that over there i'm gonna get this off here just a little bit and then we're just gonna bring this together All right, just that simple. Let me get all this extra out of the whisk attachment. And set this. Let's just set right there because I got plugged in down here to my extension cord. Let me grab, I need a small bowl. And now to make this Christmassy, and I'll get a different spoon since that is not mixed on. We're just going to put this in here. Looks like a little bit didn't get mixed in the bottom. I'll just bring that together. And 
And this is just something as you can see, this is so quick and so easy to throw together. If you got company that just shows up for Christmas, get some carolers, friends come and buy caroling, put that in there. Now let's Christmas it up a little bit, even though the flavor is nice and Christmassy. I love these childproof caps, there we go. And just put some sprinkles up here on top. Now you can serve this with graham crackers. You can serve it with butter cookies, any kind of treats. You can even use uh, pretzels. I went and got some ginger snaps. I think ginger snaps would go real good with this. So I'm just going to give it a little try here. Mm. Very good. Nice, creamy, nice and thick dip. Let me finish eating before I talk more to you. That's kind of rude. But this is easy to throw together. And you see, this is going to be a quick video because basically you just threw in the ingredients, mixed it, and you're done. So it's one of them one-pop things. But give this one a try. It's a great, easy dish to do. I'm saying it tastes even better because I use my homemade eggnog over here that I made from my quail eggs. So I think it tastes even 10 times, 100 times better. But give this one a try. I appreciate you all joining me. I hope you guys are having, a, again, a wonderful holiday season, Christmas season. I appreciate you all being here. Don't forget the reason for the season. And y'all take care. God bless. Love you. Bye-bye.